Yo, what is up, my mullet? Sharp here, bringing you guys another episode of 1v1 with Sharp. I know I keep bringing these back and then just quit doing them and bringing them back and quit doing them and all this stuff, but uh, hopefully they will be here to stay. And today we are playing on Raid Search and Show. Let me fix my class here. This is actually MLG rules, so score streaks are allowed. Make sure my score streaks are all good. I don't really know if I'm getting any, if our score streaks are even going to matter. Because it's a one-on-one, -on -one, it's not like anyone's really going to be getting them. So, raid, search and destroy. This guy believes 0-0. Pretty much everyone I play is 0-0. I think my record's like 4-0 or something. Um, I did give, I did have a game and then it got cancelled. Uh, so I ended up doing a video over on the team channel. So you guys should go check that out. Uh, but I'm just going to use a PDW and kind of rush this dude. A Codine. Kind of, kind of out of my singles game here. I don't really know what I'm doing. I have a feeling like this dude is just gonna have a rule book in his hands and gonna call rules on me or something. Oh shit! I guess I'll just plant. I don't really know how people play in singles. Don't know what this is doing. I just ran all the way to B through the middle. I'm just going to plant and go over here, back basketball court. I'm actually just going to run around. Because I don't like just sitting in a corner and getting picked off. That's no good. Alright, he's not on bomb, so he didn't try ninja defusing. So this is where... Alright. See, I don't like just sitting in a corner. Like A lot of people like to go basketball court and just wait down there in a corner. Uh, and, and that's usually how you get killed because everyone checks corners down there at basketball. You know, obviously I planted over on the the side pointing towards basketball, so it's kind of like up. Oh, he's gonna be over there at basketball. Everyone's gonna expect it, so he's gonna go and gonna go and check that. But I like to move around, at least get into a gunfight instead of just getting shot in the back. So off the start here, what I'm gonna do is I'm afraid he's gonna nade right here, but I'm still gonna check it anyway. All right, he went middle. I'm going to rush these stairs. Hopefully he doesn't. Oh no, my mullet, my mullet, my mullet. Mullet. Oh, the oak tree. I thought the oak would be with me. Oh, my mullet. If I would have killed that guy, that would have been embarrassing. Close. So he's gonna play the old inmate game, eh? If he's not using, if he's using inmate on this side, then I'm gonna switch. Go for the quick plant. Alright, I'm gonna switch up to an inmate. I know that some machine gun's working, but it'd be a lot easier if I had an inmate. And then I, I usually want to use what they're using just because I feel like I have better gun skill than them. I know that sounds like a cocky thing to say, but it's like I want, if they're using an inmate, I want to use an inmate. So if, if we're long range, I can get into that gunfight. If they're using a sub machine gun, I'm gonna switch up to a sub so it, so it just bounces out there and, you know. We get into a gunfight. Hopefully, I'm gonna win it. A little like right here, he switches up to a sub, and I think he just stunned himself or something. I don't know. Hmm. Dude, kind of ate bullets there. So really, on my breakoffs, I don't really. The these maps are kind of set up weird. They're not like the MW3 maps where you could just run the. You know, run to A and he's not there, you go check B. These maps are kind of set up weird where to where he could be sitting there just watching middle waiting for me to cross really easily. So I haven't really kind of decided how I play these. Uh, but I do, I do definitely, I don't know why, I just said like, I do. I do like going B. I like going B off the start. I'm going to look middle here. Like I said, if I do get into a gunfight with him, I'm fairly confident that I can win it. 
Because that's the key to Call of Duty is confidence. you got to be confident in your shot. So that's why I just went down the middle because a lot of the time, well, especially this dude, I can tell that he likes looking middle. Um, I might actually try to peek middle again in hopes that he's using an M8 there. And we'll have a battle. Battle it out. He is on three bar. He might just one burst me and kill me. Make sure before you pl uh, before you start sprinting at all, you switch your knife and then sprint. If you guys haven't watched my video on how to sprint farther, it's a good video to watch. I recommend it. All right, so I don't see him pushed up middle at all. I'm actually going to push it up to his side. I should actually make this guy plant. I feel like he's the dude that wouldn't plant. All right, so it seems like he's going A. See what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to hang out right here, watch the back of his spawn. Hope that he doesn't come running through the zigzag area and just make him plant. There's 40 seconds. Make this dude plant. And then from there, actually, no, I want to keep watching middle. Sit right here in the middle. Ooh. Perfect timing, and I almost got turned on. Your boy, Fear Sharpie, giving away some free swag. Coming at you guys here live from MLG Studios. This dude was running around like a damn bug. That was... That's some really good timing. Even though he probably came up those back, their back stairs, I would have killed him anyway. That was some really good timing for me, switching the middle right there. Interesting. All right, so I'm gonna go B this time. I don't. I have a feeling he's not gonna challenge middle because he got the Magundi last time. So I'm gonna go all the way B. I have flag jacket on. He's not gonna nade me. He does use stuns. Just something that worries me. But I'm not gonna plant right away. Alright, I guess he's not playing this game. I'm going to go for the plant and spin. Now, silent plant is off, and I'm pretty sure spinning, unless they fixed it, makes it so people can't hear. The plant and whatnot. Ah, oh, Magundi! Maganda mullet Maganda! I should have got up in a head glitch, but... Alright, dude, are you, are you happy you won around, or what? I should have posted up in a head glitch, but one-on-ones, they just kind of, I don't know, they kind of freak me out. You know, like, if I set up in a head glitch on the far right, you know, watching my spawn, what if he would have came, I guess he saw me, but what if he would have came from laundry and just shot me in the back? Or vice versa, you know, what if I was sitting up in a head glitch over at the van side, what if he would have, you know, came and shot me in the back? This is where I'm going to have to close out here on defense. Defense is definitely something that you want to win in search. I'm going to challenge middle. He is using an M8 again, so he might try going middle. Nope. No middle for him. I just have these feelings. These little feelings where my spidey senses start tingling that he's like going to come to my right. And then I need to watch that. Or he could just be waiting in the back of the map. I'm going to wait for Sharp to rush. That seems like what he did last time. He just came running from their spawn like Spartacus. A lot of the times, something that I preached a lot in MW3 was play the 50-50. You know, make him plant a bomb. I just switched guns like an idiot. Make him plant one bomb. You know, I got watch B right here. I got FMJ on. He ain't gonna do nothing. That's a GG. Got cheese of the cheeks. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like. Add it to your favorites. Do whatever. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and stay tuned if you guys want to see how this game plays out for next episode of 1v1 with Sharp. That's where I'll be playing against him. This is your boy Sharp. I'm out.
Peace. Thank you guys for watching the episode of 1v1 with Sharp. If you guys want to check out a doubles I did with Marksman and GB, we're, we're kind of taking it serious. It's up in the top left. If you guys want to see my S&D tip series, episode one, I go over my class setup. It's up in the top right. Be sure to check that out. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Follow me on Twitter, at Sharp, And don't forget to give this video a like because all that helps me out. As always, it's your boy Sharp. I'm out. Peace.